welcome to my channel preclinical pharmacology today we are going to discuss the animal model for hypertension in the procedure uh, we have to take the male hd rat whose weight is in between the 200 to 300 gram then you can anesthetize the animal by intraperitoneal injection of hexabarbital sodium if you have another safe anesthetic agent you can use that anesthetic agent for anesthetizing the animal once the animal is anesthetized find out the location of the kidney and then make a incision at that location so as to uh, expose the kidney once you expose the kidney you can find out the hilum portion of the kidney in the figure you can see this is a hilum portion so in the uh, left kidney you can put the diaphenbach cliff here then you can find out the renal artery and the renal artery is occluded immediately after the occlusion of renal artery close the animal by giving a suture the animal get recovered then after 3 to 4 hours after this uh, suturing you can again do the surgery by anesthetizing the animal with pentabarbital sodium now then after you can prepare the animal for measurement of the systolic as well as the diastolic pressure for that purpose you can insert a, a cannula into the trachea for artificial or spontaneous respiration then you can cannulate the carotid artery as it is shown in the figure this is the carotid artery you can cannulate the carotid artery and this carotid artery is attached to the pressure transducer which sends the change in the blood pressure and then further this pressure transducer is attached to a recording system then for administration of the drug that is unknown drug you can cannulate either jugular vein here there is a jugular vein or there is one more vein that is femoral vein you can cannulate either femoral or jugular and from that vein you can administer your unknown drug so in this case you can administer your test compound by the jugular vein which was cannulated and you can administer your dose your unknown drug in different doses so once you get a stable reduced blood pressure value then you can remove the artery clip as soon as you remove the artery clip there is a sudden rise in the blood pressure is observed and this rise in the blood pressure is because of the stimulation of the renin angiotensin system from the kidney so what is this system so kidney releases renin and this renin converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 in the presence of angiotensin converting enzymes and as a result the conversion of this will leads to the vasoconstriction then aldosterone release which is anti diuretic hormone and salt and water retention and because of this the blood pressure get rises and it produces the hypertension now wait for few minutes you can observe a stable hypertension in the rat and that rat is considered as a control animal then you can administer your test compound in various doses ranging from 10 to 100 microgram per kilogram and observe the blood pressure after giving the test compound and whatever effect you are getting you compare that effect with that of the control animal now for monitoring of blood pressure you need certain things and that includes this is what a pressure transducer it will sense the change in the pressure and this part of pressure transducer is attached to the recording system which record actual that change in the blood pressure and here this is attached to the carotid 
artery. This is what tubing, this is bulldog, can, bulldog cannula, which is used during the cannulation of the carotid artery. Now, how actually this uh, will work, we'll just uh, show you. There is the calibration of the case, calibrated, carotid artery is calibrated, is attached to the pressure. Task can you say? Yeah, point can you say? This is artificial ventilator. And this is monitor where you can get the rest. So evaluation. First you observe the increase in blood pressure when you reopen the renal artery. The value you record. And then after administration of the drugs, the, uh, the level of reduction in blood pressure has to be monitored. And by comparing these two, percent inhibition of hypertensive blood pressure value can be calculated and it is re recorded. Thank you for uh, sparing your time and uh, listening this uh, video. Please like, share and subscribe for more such interactive videos. Thank you.